So in the last video, we have seen how to use anonymous class, right? So let me just repeat what we have seen. So we can create anonymous class by specifying the object and then the implementation of it. Normally what happens is we create a class and then we create the object, right? But in anonymous class, we first create the object and then we specify the implementation of it. I mean, what exactly that, that object is. So let's try to implement that concept in interface. So in interface, what we, what we have is that if you focus on this implement a class the only purpose of that class is to implement abc right since we wanted the object of abc we have created a class here which implements abc and then we can say abc obj equal to new implementer and we can call it what if we, i can simply say a new abc will that work and the answer is no is because you cannot create the object of interface you can see that it is giving you an error you cannot instantiate the type ABC because in ABC is an interface, right? Now, why we cannot create the object of interface is because it doesn't have the implementation. What if I can just provide the implementation here itself, uh, something like in an anonymous class. I can create this method. I can just copy this code and paste it here. So I can just create a class and the method definition. So I don't need this class, right? So if you can focus on this, this thing here. Now we have an object of ABC which also has the implementation which is void show. So we don't need that class. You can see that we don't have a class there. And if I run this code, you can see we got the output as anything because we are printing anything here. And if you change this text, if I say I'm the best, and if you run this code, you can see we got the output as I'm the best. So that's how you use anonymous class to instantiate the interface. The advantage is it will not waste lots of your memory. When you use a normal class, it creates a class file. This will also create a class file, but this will be used only in this particular class. You cannot reuse this definition. So if, you're, if your idea is not to reuse the definition, you can always go for anonymous class. In fact, it is my favorite. Uh, after I mean after some videos you will understand the real power of anonymous class so stay tuned for that uh, but you can create the object of interface using anonymous class so we can say interface I mean ABC OBJ equal to new ABC and we can provide the implementation here itself we don't have to create a new class for that so yeah that's about this video in the next video we'll see uh, the types of interfaces